It's a great honor to welcome Alex Del Thank Piero you. to iSports Season. Alex, I would love to start with a memorabilia that I would like to show you. And it's this uh -huh. one. What does this shirt mean to you? Well, the Champions of Europe. Uh, European Champions with the Champions League that we won in 1996. Incredible year, incredible journey. One of the best memories of my football life. Um, it's been the last Champions League title for Juventus, but yep. you were always the formidable side, the side to beat. Uh, I remember Alex Ferguson and Gary Neville always talking about Juventus as the reference point. So what was your main weapon, the, the thing that you made you formidable at that time? I have to say we have a quite complete team, you know. We, we have a, a perfect combination of strong team with a lot of personality with a great champions and player, creativity players, but also tough defenders. We, as Italian team, of course, we were one of the best in defense. Uh, goalkeepers, all during the years, uh, the best ones. And uh, midfielders and strikers, all this, you know. Generally speaking, we were a, a great, great asset for, for against everyone. And Man United, you mentioned Gary Neville, uh, Sir Alan Ferguson, that we spent a lot of time fighting <laughs> against them, <laughs> was the other opponent, one of, of the course. best opponents that we had. Yeah. And so Madrid. so uh, it's, a, it's a great time remember what happened between us and I'm happy that they recognize uh, a team that uh, maybe won just one uh, uh, Champions League but got in the final um, other times and we were always there, always there. So uh, it's one team to beat, always been. Um, of course, maybe we could talk about like two eras at Juventus in the 90s and the uh, first uh, 10 years of the new millennium. Uh, and the second era was marked by Pavel Nedved. When he came into the side, did you think that he could win a Ballon d'Or one day? Well, I, I play with different players that could win the Ballon d'Or. Some of them end up winning him, Zidane. You know, it depends on the combination that happened during that year. And for Pavel, like uh, for Zizou, it happened good for them, some kind of combination. And uh, but this is the quality that of the player that I play with. The, that's you know, it's, it's amazing. Pavel uh, represent uh, the, the the modern midfielders with all the quality. He was able to do anything, everything. Do you think he would be even better in this age and in this football than he was at that time? Even though he was one of the best. It's it's very difficult to compare generations and, and time now football changed a lot so but definitely he has all the quality for performing today at the same level yeah. yeah yeah for you personally the second huge win was the 2006 World yeah. Cup and the part that you played especially in that uh, epic semi final against uh, Germany. I think you were always the darling of Juventus fans and you were embodiment of Juventus. Do you think that game was the moment when Italy fans in general started to love you as well? You know, as Italian fans, when you play for Juventus or not, you create, you divide people. And this is happening also for Milan, Inter, Roma or other, other teams, especially if you win. So if you win, <laughs> of course, uh, your fans are going to be super happy. The fans that is not your fans is going to be super mad. So that's created different. But the, the but the, when Italy play, it was always something special, even when we didn't win. Of course, when you win, it's embrace everything. All the edges, the barriers goes down and you are the player of, of the people and all the fans are your fans. and. And this is what happened for, for me and for ev every single player on that team. Yeah, it was not just the goal, but also the, the work that you put in the, in that game. And I think that was what made it special. Yeah, right? but it's not only the World Cup. I think that at the end, the people recognize, every fan recognize what you did during your careers. So if you play good, if you behave good in the right way, it doesn't matter if it's against you on the team against you. The, the people at the fans recognize that. Mm. And that is very important. And that's why it's very important from my point of view, having responsibility in what you say, what you're doing inside the pitch and outside the pitch. Mm. Uh, we are talking at the launch of the soccer camp Prague and uh, you're one of the biggest faces of that. Um, 
Can you tell me how did you came to this idea of supporting this uh, this project and uh, how do you feel that uh, football can make this social role uh, for people as well in their lives? Well, first of all, football made a, a huge role in the in life of everybody because most of the kids in Europe are looking forward to become a football player, uh, looking uh, and uh, hear what the, the players do or, or or say about uh, everything. So especially now with the social media that you can reach every everyone in every second. So it's very important to have a responsibility in what you are doing, what you are saying. And uh, and and yes, football is part of our life. I'm talking about Italy, but also here is a great part of your life. It's have to be a part of your life. Yes. Uh, uh, have to be a good part of your life. Mm -hmm. So uh, we need to try to enjoy it. We need to try to 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 behave in the right way and uh, and to spend the right time with family, with friends, with sons or kids uh, or, or daughter, whatever it is, in a way that you know to increase the value of of your country, to increase the value of your family in 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 different aspects. So yeah, I think it's football has a big role in, in especially in this era. With uh, Juventus, uh, it's been a really rocky season, up and down, with uh, lots of turbulences. Uh, now Pavel Nedved has been cleared of any wrongdoings. Do you think he could uh, go back uh, to his role in Juventus uh, sometime in the future? Or what do you think uh, he has in him? Uh, what kind of role do you think uh, he can play in football? I really don't know. I don't have an answer for that, to be honest. I have no answer. I don't know what's happened for Ria with there's still a lot of things going on including investigation so I, I can't actually answer for that I can answer as a power as a human being and uh, as a person as a friend uh, as a as a guy that I as a golfer that I always beat uh, on the, on the, on the <laughs> do you <laughs> <of course. laughs> no it's not true but I'm happy to say it, so uh, yeah, uh, for yeah, the memory, yeah. you know, for the for the records. Is he even a competition for you? Uh, yeah, Oval, always a competition between us. Always, you know. Uh, I always say to him, "Listen, you run much more than me," and I, I agree with that. I'm happy to lose about that. But for the other things, let's let's fight. You but know? when it's technique, right? Uh, so <laughs> it's it's uh, it's. I spend a good time with him. Yeah. Always. So that's the most important thing, and and then share with him, show to show that what happened during the. The, this year together. So that's the best thing that I remember. Thank you very much, Alex, for your time. You're welcome.